can like if there's no jobs like you're, you're going to do drugs i mean you're gonna so, trade drugs no, because that's the only option a, it's you such have. a difference in worldview you're making excuses for criminals yeah and, and what a, no what an insult to poor immigrants that came to this country that didn't commit crimes and work two or three jobs and work themselves out of poverty and didn't decide to go deal coke. Well, my father is a white immigrant from Poland and he committed crimes. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook shuts down girl making excuse for criminals, okay? This is going to be amazing. Uh, I love to check this video out with you guys. I call Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. But don't you think that like there there's a reason that a lot of the black community isn't doesn't have a father and it's because of systemic racism. It's because like black men are more likely to be in prison. Oh yeah, so why do people go Thank to you. prison? For like a lot of the time it's because they're in poverty and they have no other way oh, to get Okay, so they commit crimes. Because there is yeah, they, they Yeah, but so like, like wait like Wait, so wait. They be, so, why do they why do they so wait, if you're uh, commit in crimes? So in poverty, we yeah. should give excuses okay. for committing crimes? Yes, because if they have no like murder? Not mur I did not say murder. I said like I sa I'm saying like if someone is stealing something because they have no money oh, and there's so no that's jobs. That's so interesting. So you think most crimes are crimes of necessity in the black community? Um I wouldn't I'm not saying most. So like gang banging is like a crime of necessity? That I literally never said that. I'm saying, like, you're making I'm, an argument of crimes of necessity. Like, they're so I'm, hungry, they can't handle it. I'm talking about, like, crime that has to do with, like, getting food, getting stuff that you need to live. Right. But we have food stamps for anyone that needs it. So that doesn't exist. We have, we have subsidized housing for anyone that needs it. So that doesn't exist. We have free health care for any pr poor person that wants it called Medicaid. That doesn't exist. We also have welfare cash for anyone that wants it. So that doesn't exist. So what is it they're missing that they need to go? Sorry about that. Um, well, well, the food, like a, a lot of food stamps, like food stamps might not cover all of what they need. And also housing is like, there's not, there's not unlimited housing. A lot of people who are unhoused have to like go to shelters and then they get kicked out of shelters because there's a mandatory stay limit. So it's yeah, not right, like you just get it's not a, a house. It's not a stuff thing, though, right? It's like if you need stuff, there's also tons of charities out there that can provide assistance, churches. You will not go hungry in this country. You I will think, not starve in this country. Yes, you will. There's, like, no, we have an obesity been on State problem. Street? We have an obesity problem, not a starvation problem in this country. What are you talking in about? In State Street, if any one of those people went to the local Episcopalian church or Methodist church, they will get fed. I guarantee it. If they go to a local, local food shelter, they will get Okay, fed. but I'm talking, okay, housing. If, will okay, they for housing. If, if we have Section 8 subsidized housing in this country, right? If you want to have a roof over your head, you can have a roof over your head. With like a, thousands of rules and you can't well, yes, do anything. Yes, of course, yes. I mean, like, it's not ideal, but the point is this. So let's just go back to the crime and necessity, right? Mm -hmm. So why do people commit crimes? I'm not saying why all people commit crimes. I'm saying there are people who commit crimes because they have no other choice. Got it. So why is it that other people that are as poor as they are in separate racial groups don't commit crimes at the same rates? For example, blacks are 13% of the population and they commit over 50% of the crimes. Why is that? Um, black, black, black people, I would say, not blacks. Okay, but it's not, I could say whites and you wouldn't care. So anyway, no, hold on, um, hold on. I, I, right? I can say Hispanics, you wouldn't care. So I, don't, don't mm, police I think I my might, language. But whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not policing your language. I'm just saying I would say black Fair people. Fair enough. But the insinuation is that I'm being racist. But that's I'm, fine. Okay, that's yeah. your opinion. Yeah, but, um, but so, so black Americans are 13 percent of the population and commit anywhere between 50 to 56 percent of murders, crimes, carjackings. Why, why is that? Well, what percentage of the white population is living in the same level of poverty? Got it. So, you know, there's twice as many white Americans in poverty as black Americans. Not the same percentage, but still, if you look at white Americans in poverty, they far, they commit far less crimes than black Americans in poverty. Why is that? It, maybe it's because when you're in a store, like they follow black people and they don't follow white people. What about murder? Rural. Rural? No, but why is it that, like, let's say like murder. Why is it that black people commit so many more the murders? Like that's not you're being followed in a store and you commit more murders. Yeah. You, you, no, no, you're, you're making the rule. Or no, no, no. I'll get to you in a sec. But okay. it's, it's not, anyway, it's, anyway, that's not a good argument. But let me just go back to one thing you said. Systemic Whatever, racism, right? So the idea of systemic is that it's yeah. within our laws. Mm -hmm. There are some black Americans here listening. What can you, as a white American, do that the black American cannot do? Um. Let's see. 
I could go into a store and not get followed. The police, like the police, could not track me down on like when I'm driving. I'm not prob- I'm less likely to get um, shot and killed um, while I'm driving. I um, there's no. a lot of things that I can oh, do. Okay, so just be clear. So if you walk into a local CVS here, how would you guys be treated differently? Well, I would probably they would probably say hello, and they would probably like just walk like let me in and like not follow me, and then. So these are a lot of probabilities. I don't believe you, but I'm talking about laws, right? So what in the legal code of America can you as a white individual do that the black individual can't? Because systemic means it's in our code, right? It's like, it's for example, like Jim Crow, totally get it. That's systemic racism. What is systemically your advantage? Um, Maybe like housing codes, because I know redlining isn't a thing anymore, but there is um, like, isn't there people who um, are white are more likely to be given loans because of like they have less um, like I'm not know, th- th- that's just the like it's um, back from redlining like it it's a lot of the same stuff. So, I, I don't I don't buy into any of that. So I just kind of go. You don't buy into redlining, or you don't buy into redlining. I don't buy any of that stuff that happens. In fact, it's the opposite. Loans are now given favorably to Black Americans in certain cities over white Americans. Okay, but let's, so we, we you could, think because redlining? Of de- I, I believe in, I, I know redlining existed. I, okay, I, I, I okay. don't debate that. Of course, it happened. But uh, because of DEI and because of affirmative action, <laughs> there's actually a preference given. But so let's go back to fathers, right? Okay, let's go back to fathers. So something happened to Black America since 1965. So in 1965, so you mean the war on drugs? Right. Well, so. If that's your contention, that's fine. So in order to, again, in order to go to jail for the war on drugs, you have to be dealing drugs, right? Or you have to be caught with drugs. So if you Yeah, don't which wanna... is one of, like, the main jobs that you can have in, a, like, poverty-stricken. Like, if there's no jobs, like, you're, you're going to do drugs. I mean, you're going to so, trade drugs no, because that's the only option a, you have. It's such a difference in worldview. You're making excuses for criminals. Yeah, and, and what a, No, what an insult to poor immigrants that came to this country that didn't commit crimes and worked two or three jobs and worked themselves out of poverty and didn't decide to go deal coke. Well, my father is a white immigrant from Poland, and he committed crimes, and he's fine yeah, now. Well, so. Did he go to jail? Yeah, he did. I thought there was systemic racism. I thought that doesn't happen very much. I, mm, I never said white people don't go to jail. I said they go more, and you're saying that white immigrants are fine and they don't. No, I'm that's far that less, do. actually. I'm, I'm glad he went to jail. They committed a crime. I'm, I'm think that's, I think it's terrible. Yeah. So, well, but the, at the core of it, we have a difference in worldview, right? My worldview is I'm not sympathetic to people that steal, that loot, and murder, because that's a values problem. And I don't like making excuses for people that do things that are obviously destructive. Secondly, we have a problem in black America. The biggest problem is not racism. It's the lack of dads. If dads are around, kids flourish. And you know who agreed with me? Barack Obama. Barack Obama used to make this a central piece of his campaign. He came to this campus back in 2012, drew like a 100,000 person crowd, and talked about how we need to rebuild the black family and put dads back. Why doesn't the Democrat Party talk about that anymore? I'm, I'm fine with having no, fathers. No, There's I, n- I'm, I'm, I, I'm not against having no, 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 black for, dads. For sure. I'm saying, th- but don't we agree? Has, has anyone heard that mentioned on the national scale in the last 10 years? Um... Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've heard about Probably like... Not. Yeah, and Because there's bigger that? issues. No, there isn't. <laughs> See, that's the issue. That's that the main issue. Th- this is what makes us different. As a conservative, I focus on if you have family breakdown, don't worry about climate change. Don't worry about systemic racism. All that stuff is like these w- crazy abstractions. But you can create family problems. Systemic racism creates family problems. If you take away black people from their families, then they're going to have right. broken families. Okay, so, but that's interesting. How are you taking them away? Aren't they leaving? They're not staying with the women they're impregnating. If, not, so, for example, there, there are... 13% of the population is black. Not every single person ends up in jail, obviously. And yet there's a huge child abandonment because there's a cultural expectation that is different in black America than in white America, which is it's okay to impregnate a woman and abandon her in black America. It's not Based it's, on what? What is, what is that based on? That's a good question. Where does it come from? It's just based on... No, I'm saying what is that, like your view of black America? Well, it's not a view. It's true. I mean, don't take my word for it. Look at this. Thomas Sowell and uh, Shelby Steele that have done amazing analysis on this. It's that... In black culture, that is not considered to be a stigma. In white upper middle class culture, for those of you that grew up in Waukesha or Libertyville or grew up in Hinsdale or grew up in Naperville, you guys all know those neighborhoods. If you impregnate a girl, a woman, and you just like abandon her, that's frowned upon. That is a social stigma in upper middle class white culture. And it's not in black culture? No. In fact, it's glorified by the rap culture. Okay. That is true. (laughs) It's funny, but it's true. 
That is a set. It's other. It's it's it seems kind of like crazy for some people hearing for the first time, but it is is the truth. The black families glorify promiscuity. That's how I see. Because a lot of black families, a lot of black people, you understand as a whole. Like you see them having like even our rap artists, our musicians having six baby mamas, five baby mamas. Like you're not saying it. Like it's it's very very many. They will pregnant get a woman and just abandon her. It's rapid. It's happened more faster than before. And it's something that people are not putting into consideration. They are seeing it as a normal thing, which is bad. It's very, very bad. Having sex baby mamas is terrible. It's bad. It's a bad morals. And bringing children in to this world and then knowing that the father has six baby mamas, it's, it's crazy. You feel like, how did this man cope? You understand? How, how, how was he doing it? It's very, very bad. And this lady right there, she's, she's, she was literally bringing out excuses. Excuses for criminals. Like it was very obvious. I could never see it from that first statement. It was excuses for, for criminals. Saying because they are poor, they have to steal to survive. Birth. There are people who are more poor poorer than black Americans who are in America right there. But they are not stealing. There are people who are, who are more poor, more poor than black Americans when they came into America and they strive, did like two, three, four, some of them five jobs to make all ends meet. And right now they're at a northern level. So you bring that excuse for criminals Make it feel like those people who strive from the grass, from ground up, wasted their time. They should also go and steal. It makes no sense. Like, when you see something that is faulty, you say it's faulty. You don't bring out excuse for something that is faulty. If you see that this is, this, this, there's a stain in here, you say there's a stain. You don't say no. You have to, you have to, you have to. There's not actually a stain. You can just wipe it off like this. The stain is a bit here. No, you don't bring out excuses for nonsense. Some characters that are being exhibited by black people ought to be talked about and corrected. It's as simple as that. <laughs> you don't have to ask, bring out excuses for that. You understand? When you commit a crime, you have to face the, the consequences. Like It's as simple as that. Once you commit a crime, you face the consequences. You don't be like, oh, okay, because he committed a crime, let's allow him to stay. No. Every action, there's equal reaction. Like It's... It's as simple as that, guys. Every action you take, you have to expect a reaction, a consequences that have to follow. But the lady right here, she's trying to add kind of like, um, how should I call this word? She, she's not naive, bro. She's, she's, I, I don't know how to put the word. She's just covering up, bringing out excuses for something that ought not to happen. The excuses ought not to be there in the first place. When you say something that is bad, you say it's bad. It's as simple as that. I love how Charlie handled her and fully cleared her. Like, he put her in a place. Don't bring out excuses that um, they don't have anything else to do. That's why they're stealing. They don't have food to eat. That's why they're stealing. They don't have shelter. That's why they're going to Bogle House. No. People who they're stealing from, do they know? Do you think they don't have what to use that money for? Some of them... Is that tuition fee people came to steal? Is that children savings, life savings people came to steal? Is that children tuition fees that they came to steal? Even the house rent, people broke into their house to come and steal. So you think those people that, that some black people steal from don't have anything to use that money or that, that, that things in their house to do, to, to do it? And she's saying when you walk into a... Um, a store, uh, people follow the black people. I know it happens. I, I won't dispute that fact. It happens. Some places. You understand? The only way that will happen is not because of the skin color, number one. It's because you are a suspect. Probably they suspected your actions or your body language or how you were acting. So they are looking at you. Aside you being black, 
even if you are Hispanic or white American, if someone notices your behavior is suspicious, they will want to follow you. It does not have to do with your skin color. Once you see someone acting fishy, you follow the person, you observe the person. It's not because the person is black. So it's, it's a normal norm. So you don't have to bring that excuse for that too. You understand? The entire video was amazing to watch. I love how Charlie put her streets and let her know what she what she's doing is wrong. Charlie shut her up, shut her down fully. And she admitted that she's actually bringing out excuses for crimes. It makes no sense. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.